Today we have many segments in our episode. First, we'll begin with our weekly press review. Then we'll have a look on the presence, ethics, and manners in a documentary. And then we will have a profile for our guest, Dr. Magda Aymer, an Islamic scholar. But first, we'll start with our daily press review. So stay tuned. Okay, Councillor Tehani El Gibali, former deputy head of Constitutional Court, says women's work is no luxury. Gibali said women's work has become a necessity to increase family income. A Palestinian woman honored as best businesswoman in the Middle East. Palestinian businesswoman Amal Dergama received the prize at a contest for the best businesswoman in the Middle East and North Africa. Dergama is the general manager of a marketing group and editor-in-chief and general manager of the Middle East Business News magazine. Saudi women become nurses despite the odds. Saudi women are becoming more interested to work as nurses. Studies show that 30% of Saudi women are interested to work in the middle nurse profession against the strictly conservative traditions of the Saudi society. Saudi Hayat Al Hussein wins the third place in international mental maths contest. Hayat was the only Saudi to qualify for the international mental maths contest Little Khwarezmi held in Hong Kong. 500 students from 14 countries took part in the contest, including students from the US, Canada, South Africa, South Korea, China, and India. Uzbekistan's ambitious princess Golnar Karimov, the is Uzbekistani president Islam Karimov's oldest daughter. She's a poet, obtained a PhD and master's degree in political science from Harvard University and has become her country's permanent representative at the UN. Welcome back. Now we'll have a quick review on Prophet Muhammad's ethics and manners in the coming documentary. So stay tuned. Ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib. ذلك الرجل الذي جاء منذ أكثر من ألف وأربعمائة سنة هو خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين فكان رحمة ونورا قاد هذه الأمة علمنا أمور ديننا ودنيانا كان خطيبا رائدا مشرعا محاربا مفكرا مستقيما أمينا رحيما فأصبح المعلم الأعظم في تاريخ البشرية جمع جميع خصال الخير جمال خلقي آنق جمالا أخلاقيا أنار العالم وفجر ينبوعا أعاد الحياة لبشرية أماتها الجهل والأنانية كان عليه الصلاة والسلام ينبوعا لا ينضب من الحب والحنان والدفء ورقة المشاعر والعاطفة للصغير والكبير للقريب والبعيد 
يحب الحق والعدل ويحكم به لا تأخذه في الحق لومة لائم فما كان يجامل أحدا لجاهه أو ماله أو نسبه من أجمل ما تميز به محمد الرسول أخلاقه الرفيعة الراقية فكان حسن المقابلة لا تغادر الابتسامة محياه طيب الكلام يقابل الإساءة بالإحسان ويترفع عن سفاسف الأمور علم أتباعه أن خير الناس أحسنهم أخلاقا فهو القائل إن من خياركم أحسنكم أخلاقا بل علم أتباعه أيضا أن أقربهم منه منزلة في الجنة أحسنهم أخلاقا فقال إن من أحبكم إلي وأقربكم مني مجلسا يوم القيامة أحسنكم أخلاقا ولم يكن حسن خلق محمد الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم حكرا على أتباعه فحسب بل أنه شمل أعداءه أيضا فعندما طلب منه الدعاء على المشركين قال إني لم أبعث لعانا وإنما بعثت رحمة علمنا الحب فأحببناه إنا نحبك يا رسول الله Welcome back. As we said before that today we have a very special episode as it marks the birth of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. In this occasion we are honored to be joined in the studio by our guest Magda Amir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who is an Islamic scholar and who will shed more light on the Prophet's life. But first let's go to have a look on a profile for our guest.
Welcome back. Good afternoon, Dr. Good Magda. Afternoon. <laughs> uh, first, we want to ask you about uh, Prophet Muhammad and his birth. Uh, the birth of Prophet Muhammad was different as it was accompanied by many signs. Can mm. you shed light on these signs? Yes. Subhanallah, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa nusalli wa sallam wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallam. So uh, uh, I'm talking about, Subhanallah, the supreme person, the most prominent uh, Prophet, uh, the sealer of all the Prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have the honor about talking about his biography and how he was born, there are many signs. Though there was no uh, celebration of his uh, birth, nor uh, and there was no uh, announcement about of his birth, but still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala celebrated his birth through the heaven and the earth. So the heaven and the earth were illuminated and they were overwhelmed by joy and bliss, subhanAllah. And even the stars were illuminated and a special star appeared the Jews, uh, uh, they said, Tala Najm Ahmed. It was a special star that they recognized or they just uh, they assumed that the Prophet ﷺ birth was at that moment when this star appeared. It was revealed, it was uh, written in their books and they knew ahead before his birth that this is the time of his birth. And uh, not only this, but the mother also when she was pregnant, uh, she saw a dream, subhanAllah, amazing dream, that a light was emanating from her womb and was illuminating the 